Hi everyone, let me just give you a brief introduction to Adam by Times. Adam is an AI accounting assistant. Just think you're hiring an accountant or a bookkeeper. The problem here is that um, even if you have an accounting software, you might not have a very good knowledge of accounting, meaning that you might not even know how to put an entry in the appropriate way beyond just recording an invoice or an expenses. What we do with Adam is we try to ensure that you are able to utilize your accounting system just with your natural language. The first thing you need to do when you sign up on this platform or gain a free access to the Adam system is to, if you have business in the US, you can easily come to BankSync. On the BankSync page, you have the ability to easily connect your US bank account. The objective of that is to be able to sync your bank transactions in real time. Once your bank account has been connected successfully, you can easily come to the chart of accounts table. The chart of accounts table is where you see all of your accounting, all of your accounts. These are the accounts that you're using to categorize your transactions, spanning across all the five accounting types. So you can easily come down to assets and check out bank. From bank, you can see that Wefago Bank has just been connected and my opening balance for this bank has been pulled into the system. I can start bringing in my transaction, meaning that we can be pulling transactions in real time for you from the bank that you've connected. Also, you have the flexibility of manually adding a bank account by just putting the name and telling it to create a new bank account called the States Base Bank. So, you can just prompt it to create a new bank account for you. And it's going to create a new bank account in your GL. See, I have a new bank account called the State Base Bank. If you go to the bank transactions table, this is a table where any transaction that's been pulled in from your bank are going to be stored and they are going to be categorized automatically for you. Let's take, for example, I also want to bring in my transactions uh, manually. So you can bring in transaction manually by just either selecting the bank, if the bank already exists. So let's take, for example, I have another bank or Chase bank account, but I don't have the bank created already, but I have this statement. You can easily attach the statement of the bank and you just tell Adam to capture all the transactions and effectively categorize them for me now once say that it's going to extract it's going to look at the bank create a new bank account if it does not exist already in your in your account and it's going to automatically categorize all of the transactions for you now all your transactions have been pulled from the bank and the system has automatically categorized all of them for you the one that is meant to be in a liability account your revenue everything has been extracted and if you need to correct anything, you can easily just tap on it, just to edit. All the tables are editable. If there's anything you need to correct, you can do it directly from the table. If you need to change a category, you can easily just come to change the account manually. And everything is being updated in real time for you. Now that you have all of the transactions categorized for you, the next thing you want to do now is, let's take for example, you want to generate an invoice. You can also still come down here and just tell Adam to create an invoice for you. So create an invoice for digital marketing consulting of of 4000 usd to abc abc today and uh, deal in 14 days the thing here is like you just need to explain the transaction it knows the customer from the system it knows the right account to select now the invoice has been created um the client has been selected for you and uh, when you check here you see this the due soon and um, you see the due date which is 14 days from now and um, you can download it and send it to your send it to your to your customer or to your clients and um, once you've done this if you come down to your chart of account you'll be able to see that this invoice has impacted your account receivable where you can see that you have a four thousand dollar balance in your account receivable ledger and when the payment is being made for this invoice you can easily click on the balance and um, you can select the bank that the customer used to make the payments and you can enter the amount paid and you can choose the dates the payment was paid also and you can save once this is recorded it's going to update the balance and if you check your chart of account you see that your account receivable balance is back to zero but if you fill the gl you'll be able to see the trail of the transaction of the sales so this is very simple same thing for expenses you can easily just come down and just record any expenses that okay spent spent um $500 on meal in the office yesterday 
You can capture your receipt by attaching your receipt also if you need to. So anything works. You can attach the document, PDF, CSV, any form. And um, it's going to create the essence for me and it's going to categorize it to me and entertainment accounts in real time. So now once I have all of this in place, it makes sense for me to easily come now and ask Adam, um, tell me about my business profitability. And it's going to give you very detailed and comprehensive insights about the performance of your business. So right now it's telling me this is my total revenue, this is my gross profit, this is my gross profit margin, my operating income, operating expense, net income. So I need to also provide some recommendations and some things that I may try to do. Now um I can ask a lot of things. I, I can I can ask um I can don't come down here and tell it to generate a dashboard for me because I need to track some information every time. So I can say create a dashboard for me to track my runway, down rates, and profitability and profitability and make it detailed. So it's going to generate a dashboard for you. You don't need to be stuck to the dashboard that has been pre -conf configured on the system or you have the flexibility to just speak out or, or, or state the type of insight that you need. And it is going to come up with an amazing dashboard for you to track those metrics. So you can see your runway, your net bond rate, your cash out flow, net profit, profit by employee, if it's done margin, cash balance, I can see everything um, generated for me. Now I can come down here and come and add the table for me to check my income statements. Um, now I can come and add a new table, which is a report. So there are a lot of reports I can see. So now I can see my income statements. I can see it month on month. I can easily export it. And um, so if I need to train Adam also, you can train Adam by just coming to maybe doing the bank categorization. You can just come and add some instruction. That's okay. Always categorize um, maybe office, mail to transport. So you have the flexibility of just adding some further instruction for Adam to use as a guideline so that anything is doing is in line with the way your business accounting is meant to be. So this is the primary objective of training Adam. So Adam is not just doing things on his own. You can come and train him to do um, in line with your business. So this is the amazing thing you can do with Adam and any small business startup from that can start using Adam for free. Let us know what you think about this. Uh, thanks so much. Cheers.